Have you ever come across an AI-generated image that caught your eye and made you curious about the secret prompt behind it? Perhaps you wanted to know the prompt so you could use it to create a new piece of visual art. In this video, you will learn how to find the prompt for any image using Midjourney. Make sure you stick around till the end because I'm also going to share with you how to use an image as part of a prompt. Welcome to TechTuned, your AI-focused YouTube channel, where we unravel the latest trends and provide insightful tutorials on the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. So let's get started. How to reverse a prompt of an image using Midjourney. After opening your Midjourney Discord bot, instruct it to describe an image by typing forward slash describe. Upload an image as instructed. I have uploaded an image of a butterfly. Within a few seconds of your upload, Midjourney generates four descriptions of the image. It's incredible, isn't it? To make things easier, you can press Imagine All to generate images according to those prompts, or press buttons one to four to symbolize the prompts underneath the image. The outcomes are presented here. We started with a picture that we provided to Midjourney as a starting point. Then we got four different prompts describing that image. And for each prompt, we ended up getting four photos into a single final image. But what if the results didn't match your expectations and you would like to make some changes? Is there anything you can do? Absolutely. Let's say I want to change the color of the butterfly. I choose the U button of that image, modify the prompt that is displayed, then submit the prompt and enjoy the new version of that image. And that's our tip on creating a prompt from an existing image on Midjourney. But we are not done yet. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to share with you an extra tip on how to use an image as part of a prompt. So here you go. You can use images as part of a prompt to influence a job's composition, style, and colors. Image prompts can be used alone or with text prompts. Experiment combining images with different styles for the most exciting results. To add an image to a prompt, you need to type its address. If the image is on the web, you can copy and paste the web address or URL where the image is stored online. The address must end in an extension like PNG, GIF, or JPEG. If the image is on your computer, you can send it as a message to the Midjourney bot on Discord to generate a link. To do so, paste the image into the chat with the Midjourney bot. Then press enter to send your image. If you care about the privacy of your images, make sure to upload images in your direct messages with the Midjourney bot to prevent other users from using them. This is very necessary because image prompts are visible on Midjourney unless you're using stealth mode. Then copy the image link by right-clicking on the image and selecting copy link. Now that you have the URL of your image, you can add it to your prompt. Type forward slash imagine, then add the URL of your image. After adding the image address, add any additional text and parameters to complete the prompt. Use the image weight parameter double dash IW to adjust the importance of the image versus text portion of a prompt. The default value is used when no double slash IW is specified. Higher values mean the image prompt will have a greater impact on the finished job. That's all for today. I hope you liked this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more AI insights. Thanks for watching.